Let's take a look at uh, linear equations, find an equation in line, and then take a look at our first point, or first problem, I mean. Okay, 3, 2, and negative 4, 1. And I want to find the equation line between these two points. Okay, I'm a, in my apps. If you're not, you can press your apps button. And I'm going to go to statistics two bar, so down arrow and right arrow to it. Press enter. And we're going to put our x values in C1 and our y values in C2. So I got 3, enter, negative 4, enter. Now right arrow over here, up arrow, I like that. And then 2, enter, and 1, enter. And you should see your points there. 3, 2, negative 4, 1. <laughs> okay. Now, um, we're going to uh, find the equation line that goes between these two points. So I'm going to press my symbol. And you see how it says C1 and C2. We had our X values in C1 and our Y values in C2. So that's good to leave as default. This should say linear. If it didn't say linear, then you can um, do the drop down here. And you can choose whatever. In this case, linear. Depend upon what kind of regression model, uh, that's what that's set up for, then it'll give you different types. But linear is what gives us slope intercept form. Now, after you change this, it may say m times x plus b, like you see here. You just simply press plot and then go back to symbol, and you'll see the value there. Okay. Well, that's a lot of decimals, and we want exact answers. Um, notice some symbolic view it has S1, S2. S3, so forth. Uh, so keep that in mind. S1 is where our equation is. So I press my home and I want to go to VARs. I want to choose one for statistics, two VAR. I want to choose symbolic, so there's two next to it. So I press two. And then I want to choose S1, which has one next to it. So I do one and then I press enter. And you should see the same equation you had over there. Now, if we push our fraction button, then we get this. And we see our answer is y is equal to 1 7th x plus 11 7 Now, um, if, uh, if you press fraction again, it'll put it in mixed number form. So instead of 11 7 you got 1 and 4 7 if you press the fraction button again, it'll put it back in the decimal. So that's how you can flip back and forth between the different forms. And that's how you find the equation line given two points. Well, let's look at our second problem. We got 4, 5. And m is equal to 1 half. And same instructions. We want to find the equation line passes through the given point with the given slope. So given these conditions. Now remember, slope is a change in y over the change in x. If this is not already in uh, fraction form, you want to put it in fraction form. Like if this is m is equal to 5, then you'd have 5 over 1. Okay, so our change in y is a positive 1. So I'll come over here. This is our x, and this is our y. So we're going to put a plus 1 underneath the 5, because that's what this is, plus 1. Now the change in x is a plus 2, so I'm going to put a plus 2 underneath the x. Now this is going to give us a second point. 4 plus 2 is 6, and 5 plus 1 gives us 6. So now we have two points, and we can use the same technique we just looked at in the first uh, example. So I'll come back here, go back to my num, and I'm going to put my x values in C1, y values in C2. So I'll do 4, enter, 6, enter, right arrow over, and I'll put 5, enter, 6, Enter. And you should see your points. See how we have 4, 5, 6, 6. So 4, 5, 6, 6. Well, now I'm going to go back to my sim symbolic view. Now, when you do this, see how it has the old one here? To get that to refresh, uh, though there, there's different ways, um, a very simple way is if you press plot first, then go to symbol, you'll see the new, new equation there. Now, again, we do not want that in decimal. Keep in mind our equation is in S1. So I go to home. And then I'm going to do VARs, choose 1 for statistics 2 VAR, choose 2 for symbolic, and choose 1 for S1. 
press enter and we have that there and then we push our push our frax fraction button I'll learn to speak someday and we see our answer is y is equal to one half x plus three and that's our answer and let's look at our third one okay this covers our different cases you're going to run across in algebra 8 negative 1 and y is equal to 7x minus 2 so this fine equation line it passes through the given point and is parallel to the given line well if it tells us it's parallel to this and this is in slope intercept form which means you've solved for y so that would be your first step if you don't have y by itself you have to get y by itself then our slope will be whatever's in front of your um, x, which is 7. And since they're parallel lines, then this is what we're actually working with. And that's, um, put it in fraction form, that'd be 7 over 1. Okay. Keep in mind, this is the change in y over the change in x. So, go back to my original point. This is x, this is y. Change in y is a plus 7. So, I do a plus 7 there. Change in x is a plus 1. So put a plus 1 there. That would give us a second point. 8 plus 1 is 9. Negative 1 plus 7 is 6. So that gives us a point 9, 6. Well, let's go plug those two points in. See what we get. So I go to number. number geez. Uh, 8, enter. 9, enter. Come up here. I'll put in negative 1. Enter. I'll put in 6 in her. Okay, so you see your points. 8, negative 1, 9, 6. Okay, well, we want to, um, you, and you might as well, if you go to plot and then you go to um, your symbol, then you automatically have it uh, converted. So you could do that first if you wanted to. Since we already know these parameters are set up the way we want. Okay, so our equation in line then is y is equal to 7x minus 57. Now, I don't need to uh, go and change it to decimal or to fraction because there are no decimals on this one. Okay, let's look at our fourth one. So we've got negative 2, 5, and uh, 3x plus 8y is equal to 4. Now, I'm designing these videos for college algebra. Uh, there is a way to use your calculator. The uh, computer algebra systems that it's on certain calculators, you can use them to do some of the items I'm showing. But um, typically in college algebra, we're wanting people to uh, develop these techniques. We don't want the calculator to sit there and do everything for them. So I need to find my slope. So I'm going to solve for y. Well, we can take the uh, 3x over to the right side. And we get 8y is equal to negative 3x plus 4. And we're trying to get y by itself, so we're going to divide both sides by 8. And uh, there we go. Plus 4 over 8. Those 8s would cancel, and we got y is equal to negative 3 eighths x plus 4 eighths reduces to 1 half. So our slope of this line, if you got it in slope intercept form where you got y by itself, your slope is whatever's before your x. So slope is equal to negative 3 eighths. Now, we're wanting, uh, working with a line that's perpendicular to this. Perpendicular lines have slopes that are negative reciprocals. Well, what does that mean? Well, you start out with your slope uh, from this line, and you write it in fraction form. Well, this is already in fraction form, but if you had, like, again, if you had 5, you'd put 5 over 1. It has to be in fraction form. And then you flip it. That's the reciprocal part. So the top goes to the bottom, bottom goes to the top. So we'd have 8 over negative 3. And then we change the sign. So this becomes a positive 8 thirds. So that's the M we're trying to find. Positive 8 thirds. Well, again, keep in mind this is the change in Y over the change in X. So I come up to my original point. This is X. This is Y. Change in Y is plus 8. And change in X is plus 3. Now that's going to give us a second point. Negative 2 plus 3 is 1. 5 plus 8 is 13. So we've got two points now. 
what we've been working with on uh, the last three examples. So go back to my num. I put my x values in C1. So I got negative 2, enter, and then 1, enter. Come over here, and I'm going to put in 5, enter, and 13, enter. Now you should see your points, negative 2, 5, 1, 13. Um, I could go to plot first, and then go to symbol. So it automatically calculates it. Um, we have decimals. Well, keep in mind this is an S1. So I press my home, go to vars, choose one for uh, statistics two var, choose two for symbolic, and we want to choose one for S1. Press enter, and you see the equation you just had over there. And then you press your fraction button, and that'll be your answer. So our answer in this problem is y is equal to 8 thirds x plus 31 over 3. And um, I just mentally check in these, and yeah, that looks good. <laughs> Not that I don't trust technology, but again, your here's where your answer is. Um, for this game. And that's um, finding um, equations align on HP Prime graphing calculator.